is the last wrap up session so i'm i'm glad that so many of you came and you're still staying here and participating so enthusiastically really appreciate that how many of you would come back next year okay okay well thank you thank you so so maybe we should talk a little bit about how can we make this better for you uh and and uh you know we'll take notes and and uh, neelam and navin are promised to deliver it so so how how can we make it more useful and better and more effective yeah uh, hello uh, uh i'm sachin from uh, make room india we have been talking uh, since the past 3 days uh, in the startup dialogue and yesterday and today about uh, how many people we have reached and how much money we have raised uh, so many millions so many thousands so many billions zillions and all those things but what we i think haven't touched upon is what is the real quality of that impact that we have reached right i think that's been missing uh, consistently missing in all our panels in all our, on the all the uh, breakout panel discussions and also on most of the initiatives that we have been talking about and i think when we come back next year i think we need to have more about what is the quality of impact that we have touched and how would we like to assess that impact and how would we like to uh, go for move forward on improving the quality along with the reach of the quality that's one thing the second thing is that the very apparent gender difference that we see here in uh, especially in the social and entrepreneurship sector and entrepreneurship sector in general that uh, why women don't take up these risks and uh, that's obviously apparent to our uh, indian culture and how we have been raised for generations and how we can tackle that and at least uh, for me when i come back next year i would be so glad to see at least a 10% increment from this year to next year in uh, women entrepreneurship that's the two things that i uh, want to see thank you sure great great So Neelam did her PhD in gender equality. So Neelam, what are you going to do about that? No, I accept that. Uh, actually, when we started our, uh, we began our development dialogue uh, preparations in about August, September. Just start writing to people. So we wrote to about 600 people. Out of them, half of them were women. We wanted 50% of panelists here to be women. and then most of them dropped in november then december and finally in january so i think i totally with you on this i think uh, we had couple of uh, fantastic people come here and speak so it, i think this just because someone i mean a person is a woman doesn't qualify for them to come and talk uh, i see a lot of women here i think in the audience what we really love it's i think more than 40% 50% Uh, which is a fantastic change from what we had seen couple of years ago uh, so we would look forward to the, but i think what we really trying to do in this ecosystem is to create opportunity so that we see more women entrepreneurs get out and succeed and we do have a lot of examples coming in our social enterprises sector which is the for profit also sec- section that we need to work more so yeah i just totally take your comment on that I don't know about the speaker side but let me tell you the organizer side out of the 10 top leader almost 6 were my female colleague were running this uh, development dialogue <laughs> and uh, uh as far as impact is concerned the couple of comment uh, uh actually I shouldn't react it but I would like to react it uh the one day before of development dialogue is organized the field visit and and that's the time we do that kind of stuff and the second thing uh uh if you don't have a impact you don't get a million zillion zeros those who people give it they 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 kind of have a, that deep understanding of whom they are giving so uh, uh the basically here we are more focusing how they have created it so all we are kind of in audience lot of doers are there so how we can learn from each other and then see that inspired to that level and i'm i'm sure a lot of people who have attended 27th they have seen the uh, the impact of the work what what they have created so i would encourage you uh, 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 please uh, uh, come one day early 
and we will be glad to take you to the field instead of presenting reports and some stats, etc. We would like you to take through the uh, field and I'm sure uh, your valuable con uh, comment on how we can further improve the impact that will help us. And I hope if you had chance to attend two workshops that was done by Acumen Lean Data and Bridge Spain people. I don't know if you signed up for that. So that was a really intense workshop that had happened on quality of data. How do you work on that? Also, there's an annual report in your back. But I think as Naveen says, I think the whole, it's a dialogue going behind the numbers and get into the stories of how things happen, how they happen. Yeah, no, no, thank you for that comment. Uh, uh, yeah, we try to have an equal mix of uh, men and women. Um, but sometimes it doesn't happen. Uh, uh, I don't know how many of you attended the lead function uh, last uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, I was uh, very pleased to see uh, the uh, the women's college um, uh, win, uh, got an award for doing a maximum number of uh, projects. And uh, so there are a lot of uh, uh, lead, uh, young women uh, will be emerging as leaders. Also a surprise that girls were louder than boys. Hi, my name is Geetika and uh, last couple of days we saw some very successful entrepreneurs here in the for-profit sector as well as for the non-profit sector. Uh, coming from US, I would like to see more mid-level non-profits and uh, for-profits just to give a glimpse to people from outside what's going on in India. Uh, it was a learning experience to me to see so much, uh, I mean, people coming from all around India participating. Uh, I've been talking one-on-one -on -one to a lot of smaller non-profits and people who are participating, but them being on the stage, kind of uh, giving every person coming from outside or even from different parts of India to understand what's going on in India would be very helpful. Great, great. How many of you would like to see this conference instead of a day and a half being one day? Not too many. How many of you would like to see three days? Wow. How many of you think it's just about right? How many of you would want to come here for a month? <laughs> you know, I, I think it's a so, so what happened is, this actually conference, it goes on for a whole week. So last Monday, we started off with farmers. So we had 4,000 farmers come together. And of course, there is language issues and everything else because it's all done in the local language. But there were 4,000 farmers. So it was all about agriculture and all the interventions in farming and so on. Second day, on Tuesday, it was education and health. So we had a lot of teachers, about how many, 350 teachers, a lot of health workers and everything else. So that was the health conference. The following day, it was the micro entrepreneurs. So we had about 350 of those 5,000 people that we have worked with who were here for that conference. So, so this stuff goes on for a whole week. So those of you who can actually afford to spend a little bit more time, you're more than welcome to come here a little bit early. Yes. Good everyone. Uh, we talk here a lot about uh, intensively about uh, doing things and scaling uh, uh, projects. Uh, but there is also a lack of uh, thinking going on uh, everywhere in the world as well as in India. Uh, we don't get time to think about issues. Uh, what happens uh, in India as uh, like education, poverty and all these. So, uh, I would uh, uh, be glad to see if you come up with some kind of program where you uh, uh, project your uh, uh, energies on making leaders and thinkers uh, who can uh, think about uh, uh, not just uh, uh, scaling uh, so, uh, programs, uh, 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 technological programs, but also uh, about policies and uh, uh, you know, uh, like values and uh, uh, humanity and what we have uh, our na natural traits. So because uh, there have been a lot of people, ancient people as well as uh, the Middle Ages people who talked about all these from India and uh, from other uh, places also. But the problem that time was mainly because there was there was no internet or anything which can you know, uh, which can uh, 
uh, just uh, uh, bacterialize it. So uh, right now we have internet, we have the power to connect to all the people in the world at one time. And uh, if, uh, you know, we come up with these issues, uh, you know, the our value system and we talk about these more, we have a very good chance that uh, people will get to know about this in, in a very less time. So people are working on, like people are talking about doing, but uh, people should also talk about thinking. Right. Sure. So, so you, want to, you want to use social media a little bit more effectively to spread the value. And also, like, you can also, uh, you know, start something like this where you are uh, working on yeah. thinkers as well. Great. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, uh, Sachin. I'm uh, part of Sandbox Incubity. Very wonderful program which gave us a broader perspective at a grassroots level. Uh, I just wanted to like, like everybody is talking about collaboration and partnership and also bottom-down approach. I think because we have so many people here and it is uh, literally impossible to connect with everyone by talking personally. So if even before we come and attend the program, if we can just get a highlight of even uh, the micro entrepreneurs or a small businesses, a two line introduction of what they do. So we can come and uh, ask, ha, can we get the contact information uh, of these people? Because I think I might help him or he might help me. So that would be uh, really be helpful. So on the website, the participants list, all organizations and who is attending is already posted. Okay. There's a networking app. It's in your phone. Okay. All the people are listed there. There is a table outside from the day one, which says assisted networking. My colleague is Esther sitting there for last three days. And the idea is to can go there and say that I want to meet this person, that person. Other than that, with our DD report, we will send you the details of all the people who signed up yesterday. Wow. And, and if you're not being able to connect to some of the people, we can still go to the website okay. and look at the names and everything else and just send us an email and we'll connect you if they want to talk to you. So, yeah. Thank you. You know, I, th I think networking is effective in two different ways. One is you're trying to either get an overall perspective, in which case it's not like you're looking for one specific thing, which DD sort of works well. But if you're looking for a specific information, connection, advice, whatever, I think the entrepreneur has to do a lot more homework. And they have to come with very focused effort saying, I'm gonna find these three people. I wanna do something, you know, I want to talk to them. So I, th I think it's, a, it, it's, it's we need to provide more information and maybe make it a little bit easier. I understand our app kept crashing every couple of hours. So, Sunil, so you gotta make it better next time. So, uh, so you know, I think we will develop a better app so that people can have access to all that information. Uh, but, but also, uh, entrepreneurs who are looking for very specific connections, social or for-profit entrepreneurs, should come with, with that very specific goal so that you can find that. Uh, Surya Prakash Lunkar from Give to Asia. Uh, I just wanted to check, like a lot of people, it is not possible to come to Hubli. But the sandbox concept is something which is uh, not just visionary, but very strategic and practical. Uh, so, you know, to percolate this across the country, is it possible to take development dialogue to other parts of the country, uh, you know, through the year in, uh, some, in, a, in some way, so that, uh, you know, if, 500, 600 people are able to learn from it and uh, do something to make this idea grow. Maybe 5,000 people from across the country can uh, look at it and make it grow. Yeah, no, no, that, that's a very good idea. And, and we do spend a lot of time thinking about that. And, and so, so the question is, what's the end result of all that? Let's say if you take the sandbox concept and do a, a Indian tour of all the big cities and promote it to lots of people. At the end of the day, it has to result in another sandbox, or at least at least a similar concept, right? And one thing we have found is that we, we sort of use this opt-in process, you know, where people opt to come in. So, so for example, Raju Reddy and Dilip 
like, it's not like we chase these guys and say, please do a sandbox, because that will not work. It's almost like people fall in love with it and they, 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 they you know, they go, you know, it's, Hubli is not the easiest place to get to. So it's almost like they come here and then there is some chance that actually they'll do something with it. So it's a, it's a delicate balance. I think as the sandbox concept, as we understand it, gets better and better and easier to implement, I think it'll make sense to spread it out to the bigger, bigger place. But I think it's a work in progress right now. So if any of you know other people who are interested in the sandbox, I think we'd love to host them here and show them the whole thing and everything else. But I think it's a, putting a little bit barrier so that it just doesn't become like white papers and a lot of people writing about it and everything else and nothing comes out of it. Then it just chews up a lot of marketing effort. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe we're ready, but, but we're focusing a little bit more. So, so the way you know, I sort of look at impact and everything else is, is very simple what Naveen does. You know, it's like if the whole village says, come help me, I love what you're doing. You know, that's like opting in. And when people opt in for a change, you, you, have, you have a better chance of being successful. So maybe we're pushing it a little too hard and not pushing it out enough. But I think, I think if you know people, uh, having them come here and spend time and everything else is probably an easier way to actually make something happen, I think. to dilute it, it'll be good to make, uh, I would say one recommendation. For example, based on the question that you asked in the previous panel, uh, why is India so dirty? Now, I would like to ask, is it possible for the CSR sector to reserve 10% to clean up the place using entrepreneurship? So, I mean, that'll be a recommendation, one recommendation. So it'll be good if you can say that, let's discuss something, but then make one recommendation to the government. I think um, uh, given that it is um, um, it's doing so well and successfully, it is time possibly also to arrogate oneself and say that we want to recommend to the yeah. government yeah. policy. You know, Kannan, I think I, I sort of like this policy by proof of concept. So it's almost like, Within the sandbox, if there's a couple of people who say, I'll find a way to clean this place, we will fund them. Let them clean it up and show that it can be cleaned. And then you say, okay, 10% of CSR for cleaning because it works. So I think, but first we need a proof. It's almost like R&D. So first you want to do that research to make something happen and then promote it so that it can happen in a bigger way. So. Uh, hello, uh, I'm Vishnu from uh, Jharkhand. I have two suggestions. I have enjoyed, this is my first uh, development dialogue and I enjoy full two days uh, in this and learn lots of things. I have two suggestions, one suggestion that uh, you know that government is the main development uh, promoter or uh, stakeholder. So more people from government sector should be invited to this developed dialogue so that they can take some decision and make some good learning because uh, uh, this motivation uh, will long lasting and uh, uh, they are the decision maker, they, so they can make uh, more change in their so, uh, respective districts or states or uh, their area. Uh, second uh, suggestion that uh, although uh, it is uh, best for the uh, entrepreneurship, but uh, everybody may not be anthrop entrepreneur. So there is a, uh, another concept called intrapreneur, where a person uh, without leaving a full-time job uh, within the organization, using the resources and time of organization, do something creatively, innovatively, collaboratively uh, to build something and uh, 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 promote the organization, also do good for the society. I am one of them that I have a 20 years of career, full-time career, but I sometimes take risks, risks collaborate, uh, design new things and uh, do something. So I think there should be one session, maybe parallel session, maybe some a small group or round of session for entrepreneur, uh, for learning from them and uh, some people maybe benefit from entrepreneur. Sure. Uh, uh, thank you, Vishnu. I think those who people don't know, uh, Vishnu uh, heads the livelihood mission of the Jharkhand, the uh, uh, semi-government body. 
So uh, thanks for coming. I, I'm sure we'll, we'll take that feedback. Uh, the second, of course, uh, uh, for us, we are mo more talking the entrepreneurial mindset, which is applied for both the side. And half of the crowd is in, in that, including me. Uh, uh, intrapreneur kind of category. And, and uh, actually last year we have a full panel on the intrapreneur, what are the different dynamics and, and all sort of thing. So, so we, we take the uh, feedback and we try to see. But I say that it's not a, a of course, we love to have a, a feedback, but I would also suggest join hand in, in making those suggestions happen. And, and if you want to take a lead, I'm, I'm with you how we can invite more meaningful government officials like J.S. Ranjan, travel in KSRTC bus, whole night came here. Uh, so we are looking for such uh, uh, the government and bureaucrat official, those are believing in those change and, and would like to collaborate. We are always, of course, we are always open and look forward how, how these things can spread. So anything you can extend help more than, I, 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 we are ready to work with uh, anyone in that regard. Hola, Desha, this has been a fabulous experience and thank you very much for making us a part of it. Uh, it would be a pity if the momentum that, that you have generated here today uh, has to be carried on through next year without any contact. Uh, one recommendation that I would have is to create virtual communities of interest. I, I see a lot of commonality here. People are interested in education and agriculture and, you know, uh, clean water technologies. So as an extension of our own website, if you are able to create communities of interest, so people who are here can join those communities and continue this dialogue in a virtual environment, then next year when we come back, you know, then, then that, that dialogue has a lot more meaning and we'll have progressed to the next level. So just a suggestion. Yeah. Thank, you Thank you so Thank much you. Uh, for that. That's, that's really very encouraging for us because people want to come because I know all of you have really traveled. It's not easy to get to Hubli. Uh, so I think, uh, you know, just taking a chance here to share with all of you that other than this huge development dialogue, which is really for like-minded to come get together and then explore opportunities to work together and follow through, you know, uh, before that next dialogue comes. Other than that, we do a sectoral meeting every quarter, education, health, agriculture, livelihoods, and then we send out invites to people who like to be part of that it is a very more focused, more sector-oriented meeting, and I invite all of you to, you know, send us an email, and we'll be happy to have you come here. Other than that, we just launched a program called Sandbox Amida that my colleague Go Golden runs, which is the idea is to basically travel to different places and get other people interested in ideas or trying to get things done on the ground to pitch and be able to provide that kind of mentorship. So it's like a satellite mentorship ecosystem thing. But we are looking to basically get a lot of people, people like yourself, to get into our mentor panels for us, who can virtually can also connect with our partners, ourselves, and then perhaps guide, mentor, or also bring resources in terms of other minds who want to get engaged with us, or in terms of, you know, even come and work here. That is the best, as they say. If you have two months, three months, you know, we really, really uh, look forward to have you come here and work with us. So these are the few things we just, you know, trying to work on so that we have more sustained engagement throughout the year. So, Neela, maybe we can do three things. Uh, number one, you know, the next DD, every DD actually is curated by all of you. It's not, you know, the first few DDs, <laughs> we used to get it organized, but every panel that you see here is actually curated by one of the people who are coming from outside. So those of you who are interested in curating a panel, if you want to curate a panel on government participation, you know, please sign up. So, and then let's make sure that we have four volunteers outside uh, who can, who, where people can sign up for interest groups. You know, we can do agriculture, livelihood, health, and uh, education. Those are the sort of the four that we focus on. So all of you... And finance, are, if I'm And finance, record. okay, so let's do five. And so if on those five, if any of you want to sign up, please do, because then I think we can create an interest group and, and keep everybody informed in terms of what goes on. Thirdly, uh, yesterday we talked about fellows program where people can come and spend three months here. How many of you would be interested in coming back here and spending three months? Okay, 
So it will be very nice if you can maybe, uh, if you can have a sign up sheet for fellows. So let's do six tables. <laughs> and, and so if you can just like give your contact information and your area of interest, uh, we'll see how we can uh, maybe get it organized. It's a work in progress, we're just starting. So, uh, but, but I think I would, I would suggest, it's almost like look at it as a sabbatical. And, and I think you should probably come with your family, with your spouse or whatever, so that it's, it, it serves both purpose. You know, we'll still wake you up at 5 a.m. <laughs> because you have to do it with everybody else. Uh, but it'll be a, a nice, like, three months with, you know, with your family. And, and also, I think you'll have a lot to add and you'll have a lot to take back with you. So, so, so let's do that. Let's, let's have six volunteers outside. Uh, five interest groups and the fellows desk and people can sign up so hello uh, my name is Dhiren. I'm from Milan uh, thank you so much for the opportunity this is my second DD uh, you know I love the last one and I've learned a lot this one and this one too I just have uh, you know just on the learning journey I just have a quick uh, suggestion so for example the topic this were on scaling uh, effectively a lot of discussions that we've seen are on large scale but then when we look into the middle level organizations like us who are just struggling to move from X to Y and not looking into a exponential scale at this moment of time. Uh, so I think while curating the design and I know while we sign up for the DD, there is definitely a question which says, you know, what do you want to see? But I think if we could also create a mechanism to, um, to incorporate some of these challenges which smaller organizations, because I see a lot of mid-level organizations here, facing in their day-to-day -day lives or the young entrepreneurs face in day-to-day -day lives and how do we bring them, you know, I don't know, through a one-to-one -one sessions or maybe through the panel uh, would be effectively because I remember when I saw the Akshay Patra and the Agatya Foundation, we know they scale and, you know, they've done it. So I think and for sure for us to even think in that level is, you know, we want to do that, that's the dream, but you're looking into, you know, there's a, there's a demon in the room that needs to be looked into which is your immediate uh, scaling up issues. So something like that would be would be helpful. Thank you. Were you part of a sectoral panel? Yes. And you were discussed challenges that you faced. So uh, no, no, I I get it what you're saying. I think we we I'll take. Uh, you do want to take it? So we we take that comment. Yeah, good, yeah, no, no, it's a good thing. But yeah. what would be nice is if you can get maybe half a dozen people like yourself, and then collectively say this is what would help us, and then you curate it. You know, I think the more we can get you to sort of run this conference, the more effective it will be. Otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll keep doing things that we think are important, and that's not necessarily important, so. No, I think fair enough. We would love to be a yeah. part wherever yeah. I can. Okay. Get a Thank half you. dozen people together, curate it, and you're in business. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, maybe I'll, I'll give everybody one final thought, but I personally want to thank you all. I mean, this is a very energizing experience for all of us, and, uh, and it just reinforces that it's a good thing to do, and, and, and we should just continue to do it and build on it, but also raise our aspirations in terms of what impact we can have and, and what we can get done. So, thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, first of all, thank uh, thank you for uh, uh, coming. Uh, and and as everyone said, uh, it's not easy to come to Hubli. And uh, thanks. And um, uh, uh, all these development dialogues, at least for me, it is like a, as someone said, it's a, I get uh, uh, it's a energy char charger. I go up. Uh, we we both go. We uh, yeah, Desh and I will go to Boston and uh, with much more uh, energy and will think of other programs as well. And, uh, um, and we uh, wish you all a safe trip back home and look forward to seeing you in the new campus next year. Thanks. Thank you again. Uh, we uh, understand that it was not easy to come to Hubli, and uh, it's not as easy to uh, you know navigate this place. So we really, really, uh, this is a heartfelt, grat heartfelt gratitude. All of you, especially come from overseas. You know the jet lag and the Indian spicy food 
and a lot of people trying to talk to you. So super, super uh, grateful for all your, uh, you know, the tube. And I know some of you been here for the ne ne second time this time. So, you know, although, so that part and others, uh, just that I quickly want all my organizer team here very quickly. So it's very interesting because when we start starting emails, you know, the we invite people, would you like to curate? It goes to all our partners and everyone. And then slowly, slowly said, we are interested by the time in November comes, December comes, we start getting, uh, you know, holiday uh, auto response that, oh by God, I'm, I'm for next 15 days, I'm on a new year holiday. And that's exactly the time each of my team members actually working, you know, 10 hours, 12 hours a day. So it's been pretty daunting and we really take a lot of pride in that we are able to organize such a uh, scale, uh, uh, event at such a scale here and then get such amazing people to come here. So I really would like a round of applause for all of these wonderful <laughs> people come in here. You know, anyone? Uh, you see a lot of women. So my learning is women like to work behind the scenes and let the... Iria, yeah. Yes, there are uh, extended family, newly found. You saw this wonderful women. Irina, come. Everyone just don't uh, quickly come here and uh, see. Uh, Sanjeev. Everyone knows Sanjeev now, wherever he is. And Jeevan. Yes. Right. So, uh, Jagdish Stanley. And you are seen at the, in the back. And team, Afsar. So uh, really, you know, I think uh, none of this would be possible in actually putting it in action if, if you know, these fantastic people are not working. Half of us are uh, young mothers, have one and a half year old, uh, root year old baby in home uh, who hasn't seen us for last two months, pretty much. Uh, so just quickly want to see that this is the team and we are also hold uh, certain vert verticals. If you're looking to hire people, uh, Savita handles all our HR. Uh, the lady in white next to Jeshri. <laughs> and all the grants people looking to have uh, partnerships is Jeevan, Golden, and Sanjeev. This is what we run. Ajay, uh, if you want to quickly see his face, it's, I think it really goes well with Ajay that, you know, Mr. Sundar just said that we need another 100 million leaders along with 100, you know, 10 million entrepreneurs. So Ajay full time just works on that, creating leaders every day. Uh, Ines Khan runs our agriculture program, Alogman Sandeep, who is somewhere, uh, which is one of the fastest growing program, uh, reaching out to farmers at a pace, as Desh says, where villagers come and actually would knock in his door and said, we want you to come and work in our village, which is pretty amazing. Uh, Raja Bali, you know, I'm sure a lot of people have seen his face. He's the one responsible. If you missed your flight or you did not miss your flight, both, uh, is a... Uh, and, and uh, oh, a secret out here is that, you know, half of our, these people actually are fellow graduates who once were students here and then went on to become program heads and then running a vertical. Uh, Iria? Where is? Iria and uh, Claire. I don't know where they are. Iria, Claire, Brenny. These are uh, global fellows that, you know, they actually took on the challenge to come and join us for six months, uh, you know. It, second tier city doesn't have evening life like you will have in Mumbai or in Spain uh, or in the US. Uh, but they really, really, you know, it's amazing. How long did it take you? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have to thank a lot Eradha. She's part of the team as well, and she's awesome doing like this. So if I'm wearing the sari, thanks of uh, this amazing girl. I don't know if she's here, but thank you. <laughs> Sure. Okay, I will. <laughs> so uh, this is the our our team, and thank you. And plus, uh, the equally a number of people are outside. Sunil. The, uh, Sunil is here. If IT is working and not working, he is responsible. So. Uh, and he's our CTO and a and, and, uh, uh, lot of things have, we have improved after a lot of feedback and we, we are moving. And secondly, uh, I would like to recognize the people on this panel. It is 
printed first time if you see that lot of government has supported this event that like the first time this is happening so uh hopefully they are seeing some value in it and 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 we are continuing and and lot of people have have contributed second panel is our partners the throughout the year we were working with them and i love to have all these panels colored with that and we are very thankful to tata trust and the yes yes bank and government agency and other other organization who has been working with us to make this journey happen and as lot of people uh, it's true also rome is not built in a day and it is a 10 years in building and and roughly this is setting for next 10 year agenda and hopefully thoughts will fly and 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 we will have love to have all of you the, the dd is is a lot of way is the beginning this this session is the beginning of our engagement for for next 10 year so i would like to encourage you if all we can engage some manner so we can really create a impact and and uh, 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 this is a great platform to have all doer thinkers come their own way and the shape and reshape the whole conversation and and we are basically uh, sandbox is a platform for facilitating all these things and we are very thankful for all of you for for being with us and and making this generally more memorable thank you thank you <laughs>